Your Achilles tendon is the connection between your calf and your heel bone. This is a common area for pain and injury and inflammation. Particularly, we see it down a little bit lower, right where the Achilles attaches into the heel or even slightly above that. Uh, this is a common injury in athletes, in runners. It's usually an overuse injury, people who are putting in a lot of reps in that heel. And while it is painful and can be miserable, there's also a lot that the right exercises can do to help it to feel better. That's exactly what I want to share with you in this video today. This is a complete home routine that you can do to not only help that Achilles to feel better now, but also prevent pain from coming back in the future. Now before we jump in, it's crucial that I mention one thing to you. This is going to be a complete treatment for your Achilles tendon. We're going to be doing some massage, some mobilization, some stretching, and some strengthening. Those all have to be kept very comfortable. They all have to be kept within your pain limits. This isn't a no pain, no gain type thing. They all have to be kept within your pain threshold in order to be as effective as possible. So keep that in mind as we're showing you these exercises and as we're running through these things. Um, the first thing we're going to do is some cross friction massage. Did you like that? That was like a little Mr. Rogers vibe right there. Cross friction massage. This is what it looks like. Um, take your affected heel. There's a couple ways you can do this. I've got it crossed over my knee right here. Um, and then I'll show you another way here in just a second. I want to introduce a comfortable stretch. So with one hand, I'm going to pull my toes up towards my shin. And then with the other hand, we can introduce some massage into the back of that Achilles tendon area. I would use some lotion. It's usually a little more comfortable if there's some kind of lubricant. I do like this Palmer's cocoa butter. That's probably my favorite. I've got it linked down below. But what we would do is just get a little bit of lotion and then with kind of a pinch grip. And so I put the Achilles between basically my finger, my forefinger and my thumb. And then I'm going to move back and forth across the fibers of that Achilles tendon. They run vertically. So we want to massage that horizontally to stimulate and promote some healing in that area. So we can go back and forth. That's where I would spend the majority of my time, but we can also go up and down with it. Massage, it's gonna be a little tender at first, but as you notice, 30 seconds or 60 seconds into it should start to actually feel better and help your Achilles to feel better as well. The other variation on that that you could do, um, if you can't cross your leg over, if that's difficult, we can sit in a chair like this. As I pull that foot back behind me, you can see it puts that Achilles on some tension. So there's a little bit of tension in there. And then right here with my hand, I can go up and down. I can do the massage right here. And so this would probably be, you know, two to three minutes is what we usually start with up to about five, but really no more than that. We want to stimulate a response. We don't want to overdo it with that. Um, after that, I usually like to jump on a foam roller for my calf. If you've been walking around with an Achilles problem, chances are that calf is pretty tight. Jump on a foam roller for a couple minutes, see if you can roll that out, loosen it up a little bit, and then we'll be ready to jump into some stretching. After the massage and the mobilization, we'll move into some stretching. These are the four stretches that I like. The first one is going to be a seated calf stretch. You're gonna to come to your bed or your kitchen table. Those are kind of two good surfaces. Sit on those with the affected leg extended. Now we're gonna grab a belt or a towel or a sheet and put that around the top of the foot. And then what we can do here is pull those handles towards us to introduce more of a stretch into that calf and into that Achilles tendon area. I like this one, especially if your injury is acute or it's only been like a couple weeks, it's really painful. Just because it's non-weight bearing, you can pull it gently and kind of control how much stretch and how much pressure you're gonna get through that Achilles area. About 20 to 30 seconds and then repeat that three times is what I would uh, typically recommend. Now, if that one feels okay, if we need to move into some weight bearing stretches, I've got a couple that work well for that. Uh, the first one would be up on a curb or a stair. Stairs are sometimes a little too high. If you can get something that's a little bit shorter, kind of four to six inches, that's a little more ideal. But what in, we can do in this position is I'm just gonna put the ball of my affected foot up onto that surface. And then as I lean forward, that introduces a good stretch into the back of my calf, into the back of my Achilles. That's typically where I would start. If you can tolerate it or if it feels okay, you can even put your foot up onto that surface. And then this just becomes a, a very passive stretch. Like this is something I could hang out here for 30 seconds, no problem at all. So I would do that 
30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, and then you can repeat that one three times. Please keep in mind, stretching must be very comfortable. If you can't get into that position without pain, it might be a little too early to try it out. You might respond a little better to one of these two stretches that I'm going to show you now. Uh, what we can do, this is called a runner's stretch, and I like to do this for both the gastrocnemius and the soleus. Your calf is actually two muscles. We can stretch both of them out by varying the stretch just like this. You're gonna come up to a wall, put your hands on the wall, kick the affected leg back behind you, and now with my knee straight, I'm going to put my weight onto my front foot and kind of lean into that wall, just until I get a very comfortable stretch through that back of my, through the back of my calf right here. Sometimes that kind of goes up into the back of the knee. That would be a gastrocnemia stretch. Keep it comfortable, hold it for 20 seconds three times. Now, the soleus stretch, I'm gonna bring my foot a little closer. It looks very similar, but now all I'm gonna do is just unlock this back leg. And if I do that, if I unlock that leg and then push my weight forward, that's going to stretch the soleus muscle. You're gonna feel that a lot more down in that Achilles tendon. In fact, I'd be curious to hear from you. Do you feel that more in the Achilles when you unlock your knee? Leave me a comment down below. Uh, some personal research, personal poll that I'm conducting there. Okay, and so we get into that position and then we would hold that for 20 to 30 seconds and then repeat that three times. Those are your stretches. The next thing we have to do is move into some strength training. Now with these Achilles strengthening exercises, please keep in mind I need them to be as pain-free as possible. Therefore, as I present them to you, I'm going to present them from easiest to hardest or from least aggressive to most aggressive and hopefully you can kind of progress through the exercises as you get stronger and as your pain allows. But again, try to keep things as pain-free as you can. Now the first exercise that everybody should be able to do is a simple ankle pump. This is a great way to work some motion into the calf, into the Achilles, and just kind of get it primed for some of the other exercises we're going to be doing. I want you to sit with your, uh, with your leg unsupported, um, well, with your heel unsupported, your leg can be supported. Now all we're gonna do is pull up towards me and then push down away from me as much as I can. We're just taking that heel through as great of range of motion as you can. We're getting that calf muscle working. We're introducing a little pull through the Achilles, but we're not doing it with any resistance. And so you should be able to tolerate this, even if it's relatively new in your injury, if your injury is relatively acute. This is just a simple way to work through some simple range of motion and some simple muscle activation in that calf. And a lot of times on this, I'll just set a timer in my clinic. I'll set like a one or two minute timer, or you can do, you know, 50, 60, 70 reps on this is just a good number to shoot for, as long as you keep it pain-free. And then what we're gonna do is progress that into an upright and weight-bearing position. And so heel raises is a good option to do that. I'm going to stand on a flat surface with my feet flat, and then both heels come up off of the ground and then slowly return right back down. And so anti-gravity, but we're we're still using two legs to get up into this position. And so that would be kind of the next step in the progression, 10 to 20 reps repeated three times. Next, I would do a stair where we can actually get down in through a greater range of motion at the heel. And so I'm gonna put the balls of both of my feet up onto a stair. Now from here, I'm going to contract the calves, lift the, lift the heels up above the stair, and then slowly return back down to that starting position. Working through just as big a range of motion as I can, I can come down nice and slow, I can get a comfortable stretch at the bottom, and then I can engage those calves to lift my heels up above of the stair. And again, same thing, 10 to 20 reps repeated three times. Now, if you can tolerate it, we need to work into some eccentrics. Eccentrics is a great way to heal tendons. That simply means we're going to emphasize the lowering phase of the contraction. This is how we would do that. And again, Keep in mind, this has gotta be pain-free. And so come onto that stair one more time. We're gonna go up with both of my feet. I'm going to get rid of the non-injured side, and then slowly I'm going to ride that injured side all the way down to the ground again. Put both feet back on the stair. Both feet come up, get rid of the good one, and then we're gonna ride just the one all the way down. And so it's that eccentric phase, it's that lowering phase, 
that's going to promote strength in that tendon. And that's a great way to strengthen it. It's a great way to rehabilitate it um, if you can tolerate it. And again, 10, 15 reps repeated three times is a great number to shoot for. I hope this helps. If you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan yet, I'd love to see you back for future videos. Hit the circle right here to do that. In fact, YouTube thinks you might like this one from Tone and Titan. Check that out. See if YouTube's right. Hope this helps, and I hope to see you again soon.